Yo, what is up, guys? It is Primetime Gaming back at it again with another episode of MLB The Show 17. And today I am going to be talking about the roster predictions for July 14th. And you guys might be wondering why July 14th isn't the next roster update July 7th? Well, the, I don't know the, why they're not doing a roster update on Friday. Uh, maybe it's Ju 4th of July week or something. I don't know why. But the next roster update should be on July 14th. So here are my predictions for who is going to be upgraded. So first we have Buster Posey. Buster Posey has been hitting amazingly this year. Against lefties, he's hitting 380. That's right, 380. So I'm going to improve that contact versus lefty is about two one or two and he's slugging 633 against them so I'm gonna boost that power up like four or five and then against righties as you can see he only has 77 contact he's batting 313 this year against righties so give him a plus five because that 82 sounds about right I mean in real life, maybe if they had a whole, like, maybe if their whole career was 313, then they'd probably have, like, 90 contact. But let's just give them 82 for right now. And then he's also slugging 462 against righties. So let's give that power maybe a plus 3, plus 4, about 53 or 54. So my prediction is he's going to go up either 1 or 2. So that those are my thoughts about Buster Posey. The next card I have on my roster prediction list is Irvin Santana. Well, like in the beginning of the season, Irvin Santana, like everybody was thinking he was going to go gold and then he kind of like cooled off a little bit. But lately he's been doing very, very good because right now his record is 10 and 5 with a 3.07 ERA, which is very, very solid and it, he should be a gold by now. But I don't think they're going to give him a plus 5. But I do assume they're, they will give him like a plus 3 or plus 4. So then he'll be pretty close to gold. So those are my thoughts about Irvin Santana. Next we have Josh Reddick. Josh Reddick hasn't really been talked about. I don't think anybody has mentioned him in their roster prediction episodes or anything like that. So I think I might be the first one. But I'm not sure about that. So don't quote me on that. But this year he's hitting 342 against lefties and he only has 42 contact versus lefties. Like that makes no sense. At least bump it up by 15. So give him a pl plus 15 which puts him at 57 contact versus lefties. I know that still seems kind of low but I don't think they're going to do anything too crazy in one roster update. But you know give him a plus 15 and then he is only slugging uh uh, 368 so I mean the power is about right and then against righties he's hitting 308 so p contact versus left I mean contact versus righties is that's where it should be and then slugging percentage he's slugging 545 so I think they need to boost that power up by like maybe five five would seem about right so I think he should be upgraded to a silver maybe 80 81 so those are my thoughts about Josh Reddick. So next up we have Orlando Arcia. For some reason he's still a 72 bronze but he's batting 293 which is really weird because he should have easily gotten upgraded by now but I don't know. But this year he's batting 270 against lefties so not anything too special but I'll give him a plus 4 for the contact versus left so make that a 60. And then he is only slugging 381 so power is about right maybe plus three maybe plus four and against righties he's batting 302 so give that contact versus right at least a plus 15 and also he is slugging 456 against righties and he only has 32 power and he also has seven home runs i mean seven home runs isn't that much but it's still more than 32 power like come on maybe give give him probably plus 18 power so it's at 
uh, 50 power that seems about right and I think he'll go up to a high bronze I don't know if he'll be a silver yet but be on the lookout because I have a feeling he's going to go to a high bronze then maybe sometime in the future he'll get upgraded to a silver next up we have Jason Vargas he at the beginning of the year was doing very good and he continues to do very good so right now he is 12 and 13 I mean 12 and 3 with a 2.22 ERA and with a 1.12 whip so whip is kinda eh but that ERA and uh, record are looking very good and he's still an 80 overall silver I don't know why maybe because this card the 91 overall diamond is keeping him from a gold or I don't know why he's still not a gold but look be on the lookout for him maybe a plus 3 plus yeah, probably plus three for him. And in the future, he may go up to a gold, so be on the lookout for Jason Vargas. Next up, we have DJ LeMayhew. And at the beginning of the season, he started off as a gold, and then he got downgraded down to a silver because he was batting like 250, 240. He wasn't doing good. But he has changed that around, and now he's batting 309. So expect him to get upgraded to a gold again or not again but like back up to a gold where he originally was i would say like 85 86 so be on the lookout for dj lemayhew next up we have chase anderson and chase anderson i haven't really heard of him this year either but he well i mean i've heard of him before but he hasn't really been talked about for the roster updates but he is six and two with a 2.89 era which is very very good um it's not anything too elite but i do think that he should get upgraded to an 83 84 so that means he'll be close to a gold and he might get upgraded to a gold in the future so make sure you guys buy a couple of him if you're interested in him and that will move us on right to the next person next up we have jonathan scope in jonathan scope i feel like he should be upgraded to a gold in the next roster update but don't mark my words on that but he is doing very well this season against the lefties he is only batting 278 and i mean his contact 52 i feel like that still should be a little bit higher than that so i would say like a plus six so it'd be 58 contact so that you know that, that seems about right not anything too crazy then against righties he's batting 303 so I would definitely improve that contact maybe a plus 12 so it's 80 contact so that seems about right 303 80 contact yeah that seems about right and he has also hit 13 home runs against righties so 74 power uh, yeah maybe yeah he uh, also has a 546 slugging percentage and then against lefties he has a 544 slugging percentage so look for that increase in power against lefties I would say maybe a plus five plus four plus five so that seems about right so be on the lookout because he might go gold next up we have Paul Goldschmidt Paul Goldschmidt has been doing very good this year I mean against lefties he's not doing that great but against righties, he's batting 333, and he's had 231 at bats. So it's not like he hasn't been really playing. He's been playing like a lot. So he's batting 333, and I would say move that contact up to a 90 because 333 is very good. And then he's also hit 17 home runs against righties. So move that power up, uh, just a teeny bit, like three or four. So I think honestly Paul Goldschmidt will get a plus one Maybe a plus two so that'll move him up to a 94 95 and honestly I think Paul Goldschmidt is one of the most underrated players or maybe the most underrated player in the MLB Because nobody really talks about him that much as like a Very good player there. He's just like You know not really there in the top 10 list or top 20 but that is going to wrap up this roster prediction guys i hope you guys do enjoy this video and leave a like if you want me to see or if you guys want to see more of these i don't know if i'm going to continue only if this we'll say if this reaches let's do 
eight likes. If this reaches eight likes, then I will continue up with this uh, roster prediction series. So yeah, make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and make sure to go follow my Twitter in the link or in the description below because uh, that's where I will be like posting whenever I upload a video or start a new live stream and that's how you will get notified the fastest or you could turn on the bell notification on YouTube because that also notifies you but Twitter is a faster way to get notified and if you guys want to do both then I'm completely fine with that but yeah uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time